Kia ora, my name is Richard Edwards uh, from the Department of Public Health, University of Otago, Wellington in New Zealand. I'm going to be talking about this paper, Tobacco Industry Transformation, a Proposed Rubric and Analysis. Uh, the background to the paper is that some multinational tobacco companies claim that they are transforming, for example, by seeking to achieve a smoke-free vision or adopting harm reduction objectives. However, the exact nature of what transformation means and whether it is occurring is unclear. So in this paper, we aim to critically investigate claims of tobacco industry transformation. We developed a definition and criteria for uh, transformation and then assessed whether those criteria are being, are being met through reviewing documentary evidence, reviewing uh, Euromonitor uh, tobacco sales and shipments data, and also uh, analysis of a report on tobacco industry transformation, although we note that this was prepared by the Foundation for a Smoke-Free World, which is fully funded by Philip Morris International. So the definition of transformation that uh, we adopted was that a transforming tobacco company would demonstrate substantial, rapid and verifiable progress towards eliminating the production and sale of conventional smoked and oral tobacco products within five years in all markets where the company operates. We developed three essential and one non-essential criteria for transformation. The first of the essential criteria, and we believe the most important one, was that the tobacco company should show evidence of substantial progress towards eliminating the production sale um, of conventional tobacco products within five years. And our analysis suggested that this is not being met currently by any tobacco uh, company. And we base that on the finding that no multinational tobacco company has committed to ending the production and sale of conventional tobacco products uh, within five years and review of the Euromonitor uh, sales and shipments data showed that there was no uh, dramatic acceleration in the decline in tobacco sales um, at individual tobacco companies or collectively across tobacco companies since the transformation narrative had been adopted and this was also the conclusion of the tobacco transformation index report. We also identified two other essential criteria, the first of it, which would be that a transforming tobacco company should never obstruct the implementation of core and innovative tobacco control measures, and that the company should show evidence of taking action to reduce smoking uptake and eliminate the very dis, uh, substantial disparities that exist in the use of conventional tobacco products in most countries. And again, we found no evidence that these two criteria were being met. So, for example, there's plenty of ongoing evidence from around the world that tobacco companies continue to uh, obstruct and block the implementation of tobacco control measures. Our non-essential criterion was that a tobacco company uh, should show evidence of replacing its conventional tobacco products with acceptable alternative products or services, although this is secondary to getting to eliminating uh, conventional tobacco products. With this uh, non-essential criterion, we found some evidence that this was being partially met, at least by some tobacco companies. For example, some, of, some companies are diversifying into new nicotine and tobacco products. However, the way that these products are uh, used by tobacco companies seems to be more consistent often with profit maximisation rather than the intent to eliminate conventional tobacco products or to minimise harm. For example, vaping products are very commonly uh, used amongst youth in many countries, and this is not, uh, is not um, consistent with transformation where such products would only be used by existing smokers. Um, companies like Philip Morris International have a product for portfolio which is made up almost entirely of heated tobacco products uh, and not the uh, uh, products which are likely to be much less harmful, which are vaping products. The Tobacco tr Transformation Index also found that the vast majority of sales across uh, the leading tobacco companies are made up of conventional tobacco products. So this uh, uh, replacement is only a minor component of their activities currently. So we found no evidence of meaningful transformation as judged against our three essential criteria. And what we conclude from that is that the public health community needs to lead the debate on transformation and shape the conceptualization and the language that, that's used because uh, otherwise this will be left to the tobacco industry to develop.
Um, but even more importantly, public health practitioners need to continue to advocate for gov uh, and governments need to continue to implement evidence-based tobacco control measures to eliminate conventional tobacco products. And we cannot rely on tobacco industry transformation to achieve that goal. Uh, these are our declarations of funding, uh, conflicts of interest, uh, and the, uh, my details as corresponding author. So thank you very much for listening. Uh, and Kia ora.